It's our new Terex. Just a couple minutes, you can have the engine out. Got these things left in there. You, know, you got, got your, got your brake that's left in there. You can see the bottom, that's all ventilation there. See up in there, you got the front drive shaft comes through there, and engine goes in this area here. Got a couple doors. Just kind of got the seats hanging out by the seat belt because I didn't really want to take those off. And, and don't forget to take all these covers. You got a couple covers and some drive, you got, you got drive shafts and fuel tank and stuff. You got to take that stuff off first. Don't forget that part, that does something too. Here's the beauty we took out. That's it. Now the easy part. Going on guys. So I got this Terex 4 engine torn apart and I found out that the um, bushing inside of one of the connecting rods disintegrated. The guy that owned it before me ran it out of oil and uh, it was knocking real bad and there was that was the only problem I found so far. The problem is now what do I do? Uh, looking at these rebuilt engine kits I can find them for like four grand um, or I can buy the parts to do it myself for like twenty eight hundred dollars and so I know at least I got to replace the crankshaft one connecting rod top ends not too bad cylinders are worn a little bit but they're still smooth I'd like to replace the cylinders and pistons so I know I can get a cylinder and piston kit for about a grand if anybody has any ideas drop a note in the comments uh, kind of stuck as to what's going to be the most financially responsible thing to do here. Let me get you flipped around here and see if I can. Damage isn't that bad, but it it needs to at best be machined. Maybe I need to take the crankshaft out and get it machined, but you can kind of see it's it's guard up on that one side. That's from this guy. That's from the rear cylinder. Front one looks okay. Bushing's okay in that one. Uh, all of my heads and valve covers and valve train and all that looks fine. So I need cylinder and pistons, crankshaft at least, and I haven't gotten any farther than that tearing it down because I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to send the whole thing off to get rebuilt or just do it myself. So... Any comments? Appreciate it. There you have it. That's my latest project. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and give me a hand. Let me know where I can get this thing redone for cheaper or a rebuild kit for cheaper. Thanks.